All right, let's do this. Let's play the game. Uh, you know how it is. Every so often I come out here and I just, uh, you know, have something to talk about. Uh, you know what? Let's put on my, my cam. You know what? You haven't seen me in a little bit. And it's some, you know, wind down hour. Here I am. Sup, sup. Uh, we're put on, probably. I don't know. My ears are cold, that's why. They just turned off all the heat. Well, not all of it, because we can't let the house freeze, but most of it, because it's winter. Well, it's supposed to be spring, but, you know, that's how it is. There's still snow on the ground. I've still been plowing and shoveling. I wonder, uh, when I reference this video in the future, if I ever watch this, uh, Am I still doing that? That'd be kind of cool to see. Anyways, playing WoW, uh, I'm going to be talking about something that happened recently that I kind of wanted to document because I never wanted to forget. Uh, we're going to be fishing in Ashenvale, by the way. Because uh, why the hell not? we got to get our fishing up. What is it at right now? 142? Yeah, that's not good enough. Fishing and cooking, that's what thats what it's all about. Yeah, I'm a bit tired, so that's how it's going to be. But, uh, so recently, I'll give a bit of backstory to my KFC story. Oh boy. Uh, I went, and me and my parents, and, you know, a couple of my friends, actually, they helped me with this. Uh, we went and saw a bunch of fast food places. Now, not every place I ate inside, but a few of them I did. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to see how they all stood up against each other, because I'm a notorious, you could call me cringe or whatever, I don't care. Uh, fast food hater. Uh, I like normal food, like stuff that I make, like, you know, if it's just eggs, you know, or rice or pasta. Anything like normal, toast, Christ, even cereal is better, uh, in my opinion. But... I wanted to go out there and just kind of see the world for what it was and see what, like, these fucking filth trash dens were serving. Anyways, I go out there, I'm eating all my stuff, so I tried McDonald's, it was horseshit. It was as horseshit as I thought. And the, the main problem with McDonald's I've always had is that, oh, it's a burger, it's a burger. The burgers are vegan because there's so little burger in it. Like, it is, like, this thin. It's this fucking thin. I call it like a dog dick burger. Like, it is a thin little red thing. It's disgusting. Anyway, wiggly, it's just bad. So, we have that. It's underwhelming as hell. I even have like the double one, and it's still like maybe this thick. It's just horrible. Like, I don't know how like that out of all of them is the most popular one. It's really like disgusting to me that people actually eat this in mass. I don't know. Anyways, we go along, we keep doing our stuff. I try Wendy's. Way better, but kind of, like, expensive. I also want to bring up that I remember fast food was supposed to be convenient, you know, cheap, and not too bad. And I feel like at most places, it's not none of those at all. So, McDonald's is super expensive for what you're getting. Like, it, for my parents, I, and, like, it cost us, like, 30, mid-30s. I was like, why? Why for, like, the worst burger ever? Like, we could go to a normal restaurant, and it would maybe be 40. Depending on what I got, I could get something for in the 30s, and it would just be better. Especially some of the places around here. Like, I have restaurants around here, for reference, that you can get three huge French toasts for $7.50. Like, that's, like, 25 cents more than minimum wage, so that's what you want. Anyways, uh, we go around... These places are horrible. Wendy's was okay. It was a little bit better. Burger King was good. I think that Burger King was the cheapest but best one. I also want to bring up the fact that like I went to Taco Bell. I think Taco Bell is the most underrated one out of all of them. Now, I know it's not the burger place, but hear me out. So, when I think fast food, I think cheap, 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 cheap. That's what I want, because stuff is crap. I'm not paying a lot for crap, right? I'll eat my stuff out of the toilet if I want fucking crap, right? Anyways, ooh, Zeppelin Orgrimmar just arrived. That's perfect. Okay. So, 
Taco Bell, you get these boxes. These boxes are great, but also I think it's either Burger King or Wendy's have like the biggie bag. I don't remember exactly which one, but both have the same principle of it being five dollars, and you got like a lot of stuff in it. It's very nice. So Taco Bell scores big, and whatever one of those two also scores big. One second. Yeah, my laptop's awesome. So uh, randomly I'll freeze, the screen will freeze, and I'll have to shut it down and then open it back up. It's great. Anyways. So having like a big bag or a box is just an, a big plus, a big plus. And I am going to get to KFC in a minute. Uh, I, I tried Chick-fil-A. There's no Chick-fil-A by us for reference. There might be sometime in the future, but right now there is none. There is one... And it's a truck. It's a food truck. So you can eat out of that food truck. And we did. Now I will say, we have bought the Chick-fil-A sauce for like at-home usage like ever since. Like the sauce is actually really good. So Chick-fil-A, thumb up. Good on you. Uh, not, not underrated, but I haven't had the full experience to judge it. So overall, like these places haven't been like too crap, but they haven't been too great. All right. Well, we go to KFC, and this was just eye-opening. It really was. I'm filled with, like, disgust, like, amusement, anger, depression, like, all at the same time. It was, like, the weirdest experience of my life. And that's why I want to make this video, because I did not want to forget it. So, we get in there, and it, it's exactly... so. My entire life when I've thought of fast food and why I've been like a fast food denier is I have this like image in my head, like a Chuck E. Cheese image, like just kind of gross, greasy, nothing's really working right, like, you know, minimum wage people work in there, a bunch of oddballs in there, nothing's working, the food's bad. I shit you not, every box was checked. I went to this KFC, it was the craziest experience of my life. Like, it felt like I was having deja vu because I've, like, pictured this my entire life. Sorry for yawning so much. I'm kind of late and tired. Uh, I'm kind of late. It's kind of late. That's how much of a day you can tell it's been. So, we go here, and immediately we get in, and there's, like, a quietness about it, right? There's, like... It's like an awkward science, like, everyone knows they shouldn't be here, and, like, shouldn't be eating this crap, it's so fucking bad, so anyways, we go up to order, and it's taking forever, the line is moving at, like, snail's pace, <laughs> oh, no, please just go, so we finally get to the counter, and the guy's like, oh, whoa, no, 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 skipping a step, so... At one point, the lady, some lady gets her drink, and she goes to put in, like, one of the bulldog sodas. I forget what that one is. Anyways, she pours it, but then the thing keeps going, and then she, like, puts her hand in there to try to, like, shake it and try to get to stop. It doesn't stop. It just keeps going. So one of the workers have to come out behind the counter. This makes everything take longer. And, he, like, he starts playing with it. And then one person said, watch, the second I get around this corner, it's a worker. Uh, it's going to stop. And randomly, he goes out and pushes open the door. I shit you not, the thing stops. I'm like, okay, this is so fucking weird. So anyway, so we keep going. Uh, the thing stops, the mug. It's called mug, right? And, uh, you know, she goes back to her seat with her, like, giga-sized drink full of thing. And, uh... Yeah, so we finally get up to the counter, and then the ice is run out. I'm like, okay, and he says, stop taking orders. I need to fill it with ice. So the, the girl in the front stops taking orders, and then kind of just doesn't really do much. And <laughs> I think she starts pissing with something. So it's like, okay. And then the guy kind of goes to the back and never comes back out. So what happens is, is the girl they told to stop taking orders ended up taking our order and then going and putting the ice in anyways because I don't know where the fuck that guy went and I don't think she knew either. So I guess he's lost in the freezer or something. So then 
the line, like, after we got our order in, like, it took forever because obviously she had to go do the ice. And at this point, we have, like, a line almost out of this fucking KFC. This KFC is so full, but, like, no one's talking. And it's so awkward and weird. So, no more than, like, I'll give KFC credit on this. No more than, like, two or three minutes after, I like, we take our order, it comes out. And, you know, that's kind of a little scary. But, hey, fast food is what it is. So, KFC gets check on that. But also, it took, like, 40 minutes for us to place our order. So, minus for that. So, it kind of balanced itself out. Anyway, atmosphere is just fucking crazy. Like, I was... I was so on edge the entire time. It was it was something else. Now let me apply my aqua dynamic fish attractor and bind fishing to F. Alright, there we go. So anyways, atmosphere is like, you know, you got the sticky sticky floor, so you It's great. I ended up trying uh Dr. Pepper for the first time ever. Not a bad soda, but I don't really like soda outside of ginger ale anyway, so I'm not the type of guy you should be asking for, like, soda opinions. Anyways, I tried Dr. Pepper. Not great, not bad. Um, my dad tried the water. You know, dad being dad, trying water. Um, and he came back with a huge grin on his face. I was like, what? So funny. I thought he was laughing at the general situation like I was, because I thought this shit was hilarious. Like, this whole scenario had been great so far. Like, there's just people in the corners, like... Uh, some guy, like, two, like, clear stoners, like, they smell like weed. Like, they're trying to give their friends uh, directions to the KFC. And they're like, you gotta go past the Burger King, and uh, no, before the Dunkins, and, like, you could take a left there by the fireworks shop. It was it was awesome, like and like clearly they had no clue about anything going on and like the kid I, I didn't I never even saw the third kid come, so I don't know if he was going to get his KFC today or not. Um but I was kinda happy, so what I ended up ordering, I should tell us tell you guys, uh us, I guess. Uh what I ordered and what everyone ordered. So I wanted the true experience, so I wanted to get bone-in ch chicken. Not that I ate the bone shit. Um, my dad got, like, chicken tenders, and my mom got the same thing as I did. I got two biscuits and fries on my side. So, my dad got his pink drink and was upset because his water was pink. And before you say anything, I said immediately, oh, that must be the pink lemonade setting. And he said, no, I switched it to the water. It's just that the pink lemonade is blending with the water. And that's kind of fucked. So he had pink water with a hint of lemonade. And I was like, oh, Jesus. So he was already a little uh, off. Uh, we get our order, obviously. <laughs> and I shit you not. His, like... A few of his are okay, like, actual chicken tenders. But, like, three out of, like, mo maybe the six pieces there, like, were just, like, fry. Like, crunchy, no anything on it, just fry. He was so pissed. And he started saying shit like this. I think back throughout my entire life, I never thought I've had a worse meal in my life. And he does this thing where he tries to whisper, but he talks really loud, and it's hilarious. So, like, I make eye contact with this lady who's, like, taking out, like, clearly, like, some mentally deficient, like, children she's looking after. And, um, like, she looks right at me, like, <laughs> you know, like, is he about to lose it? Because, you know, you see all these fight videos at these fast food places. And, uh, <laughs> like, oh, my God, I can't believe it experience in this and this is at this moment i'm like ready to break down in tears like crying like of laughter obviously because this shit is so funny like i'm like oh my god so you have like the worker guy that's there and he's like you know oh i'll get my i want the the bundle deal and they have to like type in the weird deal that he got some coupon for or something in the back of a ghost bucks boss busters sorry box and, uh, yeah, it just was, it was so fucking crazy. And the worst part of it all is we paid, like, 
$45 for all of this. So, like, we immediately go in, and the first thing we see is, like, a, a bucket. Like, the 12 piece is $30. And then, or maybe it was the 8 piece. And, like, the 12 piece was, like, there was one item on that menu. It might have been 24 or 16 It was $60 for the worst chicken ever. The fries were horrible. They were, like, super greasy. And the chicken had, like, way too much batter on it. Like, the chicken itself was actually surprisingly good once you got through the batter. But... There's this just greasy fried batter. I didn't do extra crispy, which apparently there's an extra crispy that puts double the batter on it. God help people's arteries that choose that shit. Like, we came home that day, and we were out of it. I had to take, like, I went for a walk immediately. I drank, like, so much water. It was, it was one of the weirdest but best experiences I'd ever had in my life. Like, it was... It was near perfect, like a perfect fast food day, like, food was off, the biscuits, like, I used to love KFC biscuits, that's why I went to KFC, that's why I loved KFC as a child, like, I would just go there and get, like, oh, six pack of, of biscuits, like, no problem, uh, and I would eat them, so I went, uh, this time, and one of the biscuits, really good, loved them, and the other one, like, the top half was, like, crunchy and hard but the bottom half was still soft so I kind of like a Reese's and I ate up through it and then just kind of threw the uh, top half that was crunchy back in the box so yeah it was, it was something else I I really don't know it concludes my fast food like extravaganza I guess there's some like miscellaneous ones I could go to like I went to Arby's at a at a mall I know, I went to a mall. Yeah, that was something. The malls are so trash. Like, within my lifetime, like, I'm most, like, I bet 90 to 80% of the malls that are up today are not going to be there by the time I'm, like, 80 years old. If I live to 80 years old. I hope I do. Because they're just so trash. Like, take that KFC and you extrapolate it to a whole-ass building. It's just insane. Like, I go to the malls with my friends, just like, oh, little, little, little Spencer says condoms, and let's look at them. You know, it's kind of funny. And more than that, like, they have play toys and all that. It's dumb, degenerate stuff. You know, we go to Josh's Toy Barn and look at dumb stuff there. And we went there once. Uh, here's another story for you, so you don't forget. In case I have Alzheimer's. I have an irrational fear that I'll have Alzheimer's, but it might not be irrational because I could get it. Anyways. We go there, and uh, I shit you not, we're, like, looking at the toy bins. Oh, look at this. It's, like, one of those things that you put your hand like a sock puppet. Uh, and this guy comes up to us. This is a, like, you know, 30-year-old man. Uh, and he picks up, like, the pony one. He goes, ah, pleasure to meet you. Ah. I'm, and I, I'm normally the guy in my group of friends that will, you know, speak up. Like, oh, hey, you know, how you doing? Uh... And I shit you not, I was stunlocked for a moment there. Now, I still was the only person that said anything. And all I could manage to say was, Ah, that was a good one. It was not a good one. But it was the only thing I could think of to say that could kind of mediate the situation. Because I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? Now, I just figured, you know what? This guy's probably being nice, trying to be funny. Uh, he's probably, you know, manager of a store or something, or a worker trying to get... People that buy stuff here, he's like, oh, yeah, I have a few of these at my house. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I used to play with these all the time. I never owned a toy like this in my life. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we go and we look a little more and we round the corner and we look at the cash register. It's a very small place like this room I'm in now. And I shit you not, it's like two, again, like teenagers manning the counter. I'm like, where's the guy? I thought he was the fucking manager. He was just some guy. I kid you not. He was some guy who came up to a bunch of 20-year-olds and literally did this. And it was the weirdest experience in my life. Within the past few months, I've had like some of the most weirdest experiences of my life thus far. It's been great, but I like, how am I living to see all of this in just one lifetime? It's the same. So, you know, we kept going, and that's when I tried Arby's that night. And my friend John was like, 
Oh yeah, you want this one. It was just the plain Arby's sandwich, no dips, no anything. I wanted like the French dip or something. Cause I, I thought the sandwiches would go nice in like a, a sauce of some sort. But it, was, it just was like a steamed ham, no cheese, with just bread. I was like, how do you like this over like a normal sandwich? He's like, oh, this is the best roast beef sandwich ever. It was not. Like, it, there was nothing on it. It was just steamed meat between like some bad buns. I was like, fuck this, man. Fuck this. So, yeah, like, fast food really hasn't changed that much for me. Uh, I'm still a Dunkin's loyalist to the end. Goddamn true. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, so, something I never really thought I would say, but after having gone through all these experiences, I have to say, like, my appreciation for Dunkin's has really gone up a lot. And it's kind of sad for me to say that, because it's like, it's a chain store, like, why do you care about that? Like, you shouldn't attach yourself to a, a store like that. And I'm not, like, some loyalist or anything. You say, I have the app, oh, yeah, I order through the phone. But you get, like, free shit on that app. Like, today, I went there today. A free motherfucking, like, I ordered something. They didn't have it. I said, well, can I have a chocolate croissant? Sure thing. They heated that shit up. So I got a free chocolate croissant. And no, I didn't pay for it. Because on the app, I got a free carrot cake muffin. They just were giving it away for having the app. So if you download the app, you can literally just get free shit. Um, and you can just keep making different accounts if you want to. Uh, I'm not saying that I do that, but, you know, you could if you uh, theoretically want to. Anyways, so I do all this stuff. Uh, I order that. I get the chocolate croissant heated. It's nice. It wasn't bad. And I was like, you know what, the food truck this came in on is just better than the food trucks and that everything else came on. And like, they don't mess up coffee. You want to know why? It's coffee. Like, it's very hard to mess up, like, coffee beans. Now, they probably get, like, the cheapest coffee beans they can, but that's how it is. Like, you can't really mess it up that bad. Whereas, like, chicken, burgers, like, anything that... You can continuously cut corners to make the product less and less like the meat you're trying to sell. That's where you can get into fishy shit. Like, you ever seen, like, the lobster rolls at McDonald's? Who the fuck's getting that? Who the fuck's getting a lobster roll at McDonald's on the dollar menu? That shit's disgusting. And the dollar menu itself is a fucking scam. Because everything on it is, like, $5 anyways. It's like, it's the multi-dollar menu. It just pisses me off. It's like those dollar stores that you go in them. And shit's actually expensive in there. Like, there's a very few amount of dollar stores, like your dollar generals, uh, that are actually a dollar for each item. Mm. Anyways, that's like my big rant about shitty chain stores and why Dunkin's is the best one. And, um, you know, their breakfast sandwiches are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Because once again, you can kind of cut away at, like, what is bacon, what is sausage, what is egg? And you can get that weird microwave egg shit. Fuck that. Uh, that's why I steer clear of the sandwiches. Unless they're free. Because uh, free is the price for me. Like I'll, I'll eat anything for free. It's just the truth. Because it's like, well, I didn't have to pay anything for this. So it can't really be that bad. And it's quote unquote edible. Because I guess it's being sold to me. It's not a good, not a good metric for what's edible and what's not. Because a lot of shits get sold to you. Ooh, what do we catch? What do we catch? We're catching all sorts of good stuff, isn't it? Oh, someone's here. Hey, man. <laughs> I, I did not know someone else was here with me. That's so cool. I was like, just fucking sitting here, playing the game. Hey, man. That's so awesome. Any good catches? Catches, lad. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's so funny that some guy just rolled up. God damn. Did he catch anything good? Suspense, man. That's so fucking cute. Bowed before me. Bowed before. 
This is why I love this game. Like, just random shit like this happens. One of my friends tried WoW, and he tried Modern WoW. And he played that shitty Exiles Reach they added. And he immediately quit and said, this is the, this was so bad, like, I can't. <laughs> I can't play this. Best of luck. <laughs> there, me, mate. Let's pray. Say a prayer for him. There you go. Let him fish in peace. <laughs> That's so cute. I love this game, man. This is why I play this game. Like, you just play this at night and you just chill. Like, my friend unfortunately played the bad version of the game where there's no real like, you don't see people in the world. It's basically a single player game and. You know, you never meet anyone anymore. Like this guy, like, I'll probably not forget this for a long time. I'll even take a screenshot of this. Just the random guy I met fishing out here in Ashenvale. Happened to choose the same lake as I did. But yeah, the modern game just... I realized this. I downloaded it again, and I just started playing it just casually. And I don't know what it is. I can never get connected to it anymore. Fish <laughs> looking ghastly. I nothing but these mud snappers. Why am I role playing as a dwarf? Can survive this filth. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking RPing. This is not an RP server, by the way. But, you know. Sometimes if you uh, approach people the right way, they'll be a little reciprocative of your RP attempts. And uh, I always appreciate that. An MMO RPG, huh? Anyways, I miss this about the game. Like, just meeting random people. I just chatting with them. <laughs> it's just what's missing from the modern game. Like, the modern game is like, yeah, it's like more flashy, it looks nicer. But it's like, it lacks that soul that the old one has. I don't know. It, it like lost something along the way over the 20 years it's been out. So, it's kind of sad, but I like that they have these classic servers. Oh, it keeps the spirit of the game alive. I wasn't really even alive, quote unquote, alive to appreciate this at the time. Like, I was a child. I was three years old when this came out. Like, I, I, I couldn't type. Like, my, my parents said, don't type, don't talk to people, because you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I would still, I would just mash the keyboard. and It was always fun. It was always fun. I have fond memories of this game. It's funny, every so often I hit a head somewhere, I get deja vu. I'm like, oh, I remember this. Like, oh, I saw this before. And it's very cute. Like, this is such a cozy game to play. There's a lot of dumb shit you can do, like fishing, like... This is a useless profession. Yeah, you can make cooking out of it and you get some food buffs, but it's mainly just here, so you can, like, just go. There's fishing tournaments you can go and do, obviously, but there, there is fishing rewards. I don't want to say it's useless, but you know exactly what I mean. It's not a dungeon. It's not a raid. It's not a group content. It's just, like, 250 fish. God damn. Pretty good at this. <laughs> oh man. I was gonna say something about that. 200 pity fish. 250. <laughs> Aye. This rod be a catchin'. 
<laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> I, as if like a, a, a an orc says this, but like, I, like an orc pirate might, and I guess Ball Zapper is now an orc pirate. I will have to continue this RP whenever I am being a fisher. Fisherman. There is a secret pirate faction that you can join in this game. You have to kill the goblin faction, but you can actually join the secret pirate faction. And you get rewards for it. You get a pirate's hat and I think a pirate's outfit and some some rare quest. Like it's actually kinda cool that they put that in the game. You have to like become hated with a major faction to do it, but you very much can like fuck yourself over to become and you get a title, you become like the admiral. Thank you, friend. You as well. It was a pleasure serving with you this day. Point. Oh, my. There he goes, man. See that? I want you guys to take note of that. I want you to know that a thousand hours on retail goes by, and maybe this happens once. But a thousand hours goes by on Classic WoW, and this is the norm. Like, this is just... What's he doing? But this is just what happens. Like... People talk to each other on this game. How many people I've met on this game, like, it's insane. It's insane how many people I've met on this game. Have on my friends list, do dungeons with, yeah, we do the content, but the content isn't the, the thing. Like, it's like the people you're playing with, that's what matters in this game. Like, the content's easy. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, some of it's hard. Once you get to max level, it can get more challenging. You need group work. But altogether, like... The content is, like, easy while you're leveling up. And that's nice, but it gets people together. You need to do it with a group. But, I don't know. It just feels a lot more stronger. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, the dungeon finder. We need the dungeon finder. No, like, I, I just don't agree with that. Like, I think they need to balance the servers better or do something like that rather than just, oh, yeah, we're going to... Like, I would, I would much rather prefer there be, like, one PvP server, one PvE server, and that's it. One big mega server. Sure, it can have shards and whatnot. I don't, I don't give a shit about that. I just don't, like... I don't know. I don't want to lose... I don't want what happened to retail to happen to Classic, where you lose that connection with your fellow player. You don't interact with them as much. The world doesn't matter as much. You don't care about exploring, because who, who cares? Like, oh, it's all about Mythic Plus, this and that. and Like, this itself is a useless thing, but it's, like, kind of relaxing. On retail, yeah, this is a relaxing thing as well. But it's, like, so, so much cooler to have the possibility of someone coming up to you in a random zone and just chilling for a minute. Like, I, I don't want to say I live for things like that. But you know exactly what I mean. Like, I play MMOs for experiences like that. Casual conversations, meeting random people, sharing a good laugh, having fun. And on retail, like, I, I swear it's because, like, how phasing works and whatnot. And you just don't meet other people unless you really, really, really try for it. Like, how I meet people on retail WoW is, like, I have to tank or heal, like, Mythic Plus Dungeons. And then people start adding me on the friends list. And a lot of these people are cool and good. Like, I like playing with them. But you only meet them through, like, the highest, highest end content. And at that point, it's like timers. Like, you have, you're have you being timed to finish a dungeon. I'll tell you what. It's, it's not something I can just do to chill out. Like, 
You can play Classic WoW and do anything and chill out. There's not too many buttons. There's not a million things going on. Ads don't have a million mechanics. You just play the game. You just... I don't know. It's just a different game. It's a slower game. It's more methodical, thoughtful game. And I just prefer it. Like, I every time I try to get into retail WoW, I can't. It's just something about it. Like, it really does feel like the soul of the game is just gone. Just I don't know what it is. And you can't really define what a soul of a game is. So that's why I say it. Because I can't really define what's missing about Retail Wild. But if I was to say anything, it would be maybe the p seeing people out in the world and interacting with them and having more reasons than just high-level dungeons to interact with them. Like, there's a lot of group quests in Classic Wild. Like, just, like, quests you need to be in a group for. Where are those? Those are, like, almost all gone. There was one in Dragonflight. I was actually really happy. There was, like, a Ring of Blood-style quest where I actually had to group up with people. And we ended up bringing in other people into our group because of the fact that, hey, uh, you're here, you're trying to do it, and then we helped them clear the earlier stages, and then we had a group of five people, and we were doing it all. Good fun. Good, honest fun. It was out in the world. It was good. Dragonflight is actually... I know a lot of people, oh, Dragonflight's a savior of WoW. It's not, but it's a very good step in the like right direction. So there's a lot of things that you do, like see other people out in the world, and you do interact with them. And I appreciate that a lot. Like there is the hunts. There's the hunts for the Mark tribe. I really like these. You go and you track down animals, you kill different animals. If you're like a skinner, and professions are really good in Dragonflight as well. Um, so there, there is really a lot of stuff. If they take the game further in this direction, I can see it being better. Like, you can be a skinner, but you have different types of skinning. I ended up taking, like, the, uh, the trapping. So you could lay, like, meat traps down, and depending on your specialization, you can get different types of meat, higher quality traps, and all this and that, and you get higher quality skins from the animals that spawn because of your traps. But you have to go to certain areas, you get certain things. It's all in depth. Anyways, there's these hunts, there's professions that are really cool. There's the cooking, uh, like, tournament, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, where everyone gets together and they have to feed different things into this big pot. It's actually kind of fun. You see everyone around. There's fishing holes and fishing tournaments, very cool. Um, there are other people around. And yeah, in Dragonflight itself, there it is very quote unquote classic feeling, uh, in the sense that there are a lot more people doing stuff because there's a lot more activities that incentivize you to do things. For the first time ever, you can get a fishing boat as well. There's a lot of weird mini games. Honestly, I really do like Dragonflight. It's just like the whole like leveling experience in retail is kind of whack, and anything outside of like the current expansion is like kind of dog shit. Whereas like in Classic WoW, it's like you still kind of appreciate Classic Classic WoW even during Wrath of the Lich King because it's like oh you're leveling one to sixty through here, and you get to see Brand Crusade and all that. Modern WoW, it's like you kind of level up through an expansion, but it boots you out. And it's like, okay, I don't know. I just think there is something missing from the game. They are doing, I would say, good things to try to course correct for that. And I appreciate that. I shouldn't, it shouldn't be so harsh on the game, because I do like it. I do think they are trying to make it better. There are a lot more things. There's also the races, like the Dragonfly races. Those are cool. And you race other people. I also like the solo races. Those are fun. Dragon flying in and of itself was great. Like a great idea. I'd, I've enjoyed that thoroughly. But yeah, uh, all the changes in Dragonfly have been good. I just think I just prefer this version of WoW over current WoW. And uh, I would love if they did like a Classic Plus or anything that kind of evolved Classic WoW further. It'd be great. Uh, if they did that, now they're probably going to do Cataclysm, and in which case, 
I'll probably either go back to Classic Era or just fucking play Dragonflight. I quit during Cataclysm. I remember quitting during Cataclysm. It wasn't pretty. Uh, they did a lot of things bad, like gutting of the talent tree, uh, making all the classes play differently, but a lot of people became just builder spenders. Like, it's like, why? Uh, classes just kind of become all samey. It's just not cool. Like, For instance, I have this slot here. Not filled because I'm not high enough level yet. But a relic. I'm pretty sure, like, items like this get removed. Like, hunter, like, arrows get removed. Weird stuff like this gets removed. The stats, like, any stat, like, oh, intellect, this and that. I think those stay, but any of the cool ones, like, uh, let's say hit or spell power, this and that. A lot of these spells, critical strike. I think haste stays, but a lot of them get canned, which is dumb. <laughs> Resistances get canned. A lot of things that kind of make the game a lot more RPG-esque. Uh, I know, like, weird item sets like this, like, look at the Belt of the Fang. This is only in Classic WoW. The dungeons get revamped, and you don't get these items anymore, and you don't get weird... You don't get weird stuff. Like, the game kind of feels kind of safe, I guess, at that point, where everything's in a hub, and... There's no oddball quests that really don't make much sense, but, you know, kind of cool that they exist. Everything just kind of feels, I don't know, like I said, soulless. So, <laughs> it's just kind of, like, everything kind of becomes a gag. Like, a lot of the jokes in Cataclysm is like, oh, now this is a gag. And we're in Classic WoW, there are a few gag quests, but a lot of them take themselves relatively seriously. But, anyways... There's a lot of just things that are kind of weird about Cataclysm that I think I would just genuinely enjoy uh, Dragonflight more than Cataclysm. Because at this point, like, at, at, in Cataclysm, you would have, like, LFR and all this other stuff. Unless, unless Blizzard removes that, in which case, that'd be good. Because LFR should obviously be removed. Just dog shit. Or it should be replaced with something else. I just think, like, make eight, like, raids themselves easier. Make LFR, like, the normal mode and just take out the cube mechanic. Make it still cross-realm and stuff, but... I don't know. I just think raids need to be easier in Modern WoW. Like, they just make them way too hard. Like, I'll never raid, but... In Classic WoW, I can go in and do a 10-man real quick. Nice and easy. There's even, like, final boss skips with Naxxramas now. Uh... Ten man all the war isn't too bad with no hard modes. Obsidian Sanctum, you know, you just do zero Drake. Malagos isn't too bad once you know what you're doing. Nothing's really that bad. Vault of Archivon, obvious. I don't even need to say anything about that. So it seems like Wrath of Lich King is a very good casual game where you know you can play really hard stuff, but they give you the option to play the easy mode. And I, I appreciate that more than, like, having an LFR where you just queue in and then mindlessly kill everything. Like, you still need some effort and coordination, like, at least some communications or in Discord. But for the most part, you can clear all the content. Whereas, like, I remember trying to raid at some points in Modern WoW. Like, I remember I did, like, Battle for Desire Lore. And I remember really trying to clear that, and I was pugging it, because I didn't have a guild. And that's the other thing, I can never find, like, actual guilds in Modern WoW. Like, I tr I'll try to, like, request to join one, and, like, all the guilds are, like, in trade chat, which we all know, like, what trade chat guilds are like. So, another good thing about Classic WoW is, like, oh, you're on your server, so you only see people on your server, therefore you interact with people in different guilds, if someone likes you, they're like, oh, you want to join my guild? They see you're not a guild. Hey, join my guild. You do a pug raid. Oh, you did very well tonight. You want to come join our guild? Do raiding with us. So there's a lot more community stuff that way as well. Uh, that Modern WoW really lacks. Because I would love to join a good guild in Modern WoW. Just, like, play the game. But it doesn't work like that. Uh, actually, me and my dad made my own guilds on Wrath of the Lich King. I can't wait to put together the Wrath of the Lich King video. So, I made a Classic WoW screenshot video, of which my friend James was like, oh, you should record it next time. So, the Brain Crusade video had a lot more video, and now the Wrath of the Lich King 
I've nearly recorded all of it. I have very few screenshots, and I don't know if I'm going to use the screenshots or not. <clears throat> Anyways, I have like hours and hours of recording across like my laptop here, my computer upstairs, and I can't wait to put that video together. It'll probably be like over an hour of just footage of me and my dad leveling. We have so many level 80s. Uh, if we hit these guys level 80, we'll have five level 80s. And we would just play, and, and the classes are so fun in Wrath of Lich King. I have to point that out. Uh, the the game can survive without good classes, quote unquote. But like, if what you're doing day to day doesn't feel good, the game becomes a lot worse. And some of the classes in Modern WoW just don't feel as good as they do in Wrath of Lich King. Like Wrath of Lich King, it feels like what they wanted to make in Classic WoW, like, Enhancement Shaman, completely dumb, stupid spec in Classic WoW. It was like, oh, it's a tank spec, but it's damage, but also it's, like, bad, and you would never play Enhancement in, in raids. But you could bring Enhancement because the content was so easy that, you know, you could get through it. So that was how Enhancement was brought, because it was just kind of bad... But it didn't really matter. So in Burning Crusade, they kind of fix some of the things, but not exactly there. They kind of touch up the broken specs, but the good specs kind of get ignored. And anyways, Wrath of Lich King comes about, and finally everyone gets the look down. Like, all right, what can we change? What can we add? What can we tune? And it's like, you really hit this balance of like, man, like, the classes feel good. The lifts feel great. Like, Leveling up with glyphs is so great. Like, glyphs and talents in tandem is, like, the best thing ever. Because it's, like, you're always adding something to your character. It feels great. Also having, like... I don't really like heirlooms. I wish they just made it, like, a tabard that gave you XP. I would have loved that way more. But, you know, I can't realistically level a 5th level 80 without putting on an heirloom. Like, it's 20% like experience so <laughs> it's like you're throwing away 20 percent leveling time i can't on good conscience do that i don't want to say like i'm wasting my time because i enjoy leveling in classic wow but being that i do it so often and so much that it's like i'm just gonna put it on all right now i really wish they just made like a tabard of the leveler or something and you could put more emblems into it to make it give you more xp or every time you hit level 80, it went up 10%, or something like that, rather than this shit. Because I don't, I don't like not getting armor. Like, getting armor and gearing up is part of the fun. Like, look at this stuff. Like, I have the, the Wailing Cavern set. I got this today from RFK. I got this the other day from RFK. Now, I could simply have an Heirloom Axe, right? And, oh, yeah, now I have the Heirloom Axe. I never have to change it, but... Like, you never get stuff like this, or Herod's Axe, or anything like that. So, permanently, my chest and my shoulders, I never get to change, because, oh, it's 10% XP each, so why would you ever change that? Are you insane? So, it's kind of annoying. I don't like that. I wish they would have changed that. They talked about changing that, and then they never did. So, I guess it's shit out of luck for that. Which kind of sucks, but that's how it goes sometimes. Can I even cook these? I don't think... Oh, wow, we're going to get a lot of cooking. Wow, I didn't even realize how good this has been. We're going to be doing that. I was trying to hit fishing 180 with what I was going for, and then I was going to cook all this. But I'll let you guys go. Uh, thanks for sticking around. If you're sticking around, I just I kind of talked a little bit longer than I thought I was going to. 180, right there on the dot. Uh, I was really just here because I wanted to... <laughs> share my KFC story, but then we kind of kept talking. And I enjoy talking, so. Especially about things that I like. I like catching up with you guys. As I always say, I more view this channel as like a, oh, let's look at myself in the future and like reflect back. And I think that's uh, the best way to approach YouTube, at least for me, because I think it's such an interesting way. Like, oh, in 10 years, I could watch this video. I'm like, what was I thinking when I was 21 years old playing WoW at 1130? And it's like, at this point, we know. Did we get Classic Plus? Did we get this? Did we get that? Was the next WoW expansion good? Was Dragonflight 
just a one-off that was good and you know let's hope it's better than that you know <laughs> so let's hope not uh, but you never know look at that oh this is already green but we're still getting levels from it so that's good we have so much of this that we'll probably go pretty far with this before it goes gray but we'll have to see what happens bristle bristle whisker catfish nice met a random guy out here that was cool that was not scripted by the way but that was not like my alt or anyone I knew <laughs> just some random fucker let's see how far a cooking can we get because we gotta get pretty far 175, 175, 175. We need 175. I don't know if we have enough of this to get to 175. This might turn green at 170. If so, we're in trouble. Let's see if it does. No, it didn't. We might get 175 then. Oh, yes. That unlocks so much for us. That unlocks so much for us. Oh, shit. This is actually huge. I didn't think we were going to get that from just this. Man, I love talking to you guys. I make so much progress when I'm just, like, ranting about random shit. Come on, 175. We have 40 left to get 175. Then we can go fish stuff like this up. In another video, maybe. <laughs> uh, me, I'm probably gonna get myself a drink. Uh, maybe watch some YouTube videos after this. I'll have this video upload, and uh, I'll probably go to bed after that. I'll start my eBay journeys. Yes, I'm still doing eBay. Still doing school. I picked up this whole winter job recently. Oh, I've still got levels from this. All right, I'll keep going. I'm going to just keep doing it. Um, I picked up a winter job with my uncle. My cousin Sean's moving up, so it's actually going to be great. He's like, oh, yeah, well, let's work together. We'll do all this fun stuff. So I'm really happy that that's worked out. Um, I'm really close with them, so it's it's nice working with them. And they're like the old guy, I call him. He's my uh, my. I guess, I don't know how it would, what would you call it? So, my grandfather's brother? I don't really know where that puts him. But I call him the old man, so he's the old man, right? And uh, the old man's like, oh, you know, you mean the world to him, I'll put him out that much, and all this and that, and, you know. We just get along, and it's just nice to work with family. I never really thought I would get to the point in my life that, you know, I'm working up and doing eBay with my parents and, you know, helping my cousins out who are also local. And one of them who's wanted to live up here his entire life is finally moving up here this summer. So we'll help him move in and all that and get him all set up. And we'll be doing fun stuff together like that. I'll finish up school in a few years here. And I think I'm going to set myself up for a good life. You know, as long as WoW stays uh, good, then uh, I'll be happy. You know, as long as they keep some sort of classic wild server going, or if they make retail good, uh, I'll be happy. Like, I'll be finished with school, so I always think about it like this. Like, oh yeah, let me learn the recipes once I get to town. Um, I always think about it like this, so I have like my own store, my eBay store that I run. Uh, and that's doing pretty well. It's kind of on the side, so I just kind of let it run itself. I put in the time I can to it, but it's not my main focus. It is my main income, quote-unquote. But then I have the stuff with my cousins that I've been doing. And then I have my official, my official, my foot in the door into the official work, uh, and that's my college degree. So I kind of have a step in all directions. So I have my more fun stuff with my cousins that I do. It is good work. It's my highest-paying job I've ever had. It's hard work. It's kind of manual labor. They own a tree farm, and they also do property maintenance and landscaping. So it is hard work, but, you know, I enjoy doing it because I'm working with people I like. Um, and then I have my eBay business, which I have for myself. I'm growing myself. I manage by myself, and it's been great, and I do that with my parents. Like, we work together in the same space. We go thrifting together and all that. But largely, uh, you know, my store is mine and their store is theirs. We do help each other out quite a bit, uh, so that is nice uh, that we can do that for each other. Um, and then, like I said, with my college degree, I have my foot in the official door, so if I really need like an actual job job, I can get an actual job job. So I have a lot of avenues. I'm not kind of 
stuck down one hole, I can go really anywhere I want. And I, I like having that freedom. Uh, it was actually thanks to COVID that I, I did that eBay stuff. And it was, it was a great decision, I think, starting something of my own and having something of my own. I've, I've loved it. I hope if I'm watching this video in the future, I'm still doing it in some capacity. And if I'm not, uh, why? <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure if I gave it up, there would be an actually good reason for doing so. Um, maybe I won the lottery. <laughs> I don't know, but hopefully. <laughs> oh, these I got off a, a rare elite in the crossroads. I was like, the Barons, uh, but they were right next to the crossroads. They were like the elite night elf group. But someone killed the one that dropped the quest and then fucked off. I was like, Really? I keep dropping the good one, and then I get these white shoulders. Anyways, I didn't want to get rid of these, because I really don't know why, but it's like, well, like, the rare mob dropped it, so they're probably rare. Anyways, that's about all I wanted to accomplish today. Honestly, more than what I thought I was going to accomplish today, so that's great. Uh, let me sell the rest of this. And, uh, oh yeah, I didn't realize this was a thing. But shamans have a hearthstone, and there's a glyph to make the, and it's a different, a different cooldown from this, and there's a glyph to make it 7.5 minutes. So I have a 7 minute hearthstone, and a 30 minute one. So I'm basically, I can basically teleport where I want, when I want. It's great. Astral Recall, great ability. I hit level 30 today. It's been fun leveling this. I, I haven't done Horde that much, I'm not like... A huge horde player so it's always great to shake things up oh, look at that look at that face of the centaur like this game is so brutal i don't know someone killed the game and like it's so fucked i i can't like scroll in on a mouse pad but ugh. i don't know the graphics in this game yeah they're worse but i always think of it like old school runescape like yeah it's like bad it has like that charm to it i don't know it's, it's stylized i kind of like it a lot more than in retail while but we'll uh we'll end this video proper spot for all horde people at the top of the org bank here it's where all the cool kids be look at everyone's running their laps they're doing what they gotta do we'll end it right here that's cool all right peeps that was good talking to you have fun uh peace hope you're doing well see you in the next video bye, -bye.